Hey, what's going on guys? Ricky here, and it's Assetto Corsa Competizione release day, and I think every sim racer is playing this right now, and so am I. The game is, I mean, I was crazy hyped about this, not gonna lie, and it delivered. It feels absolutely awesome. Uh, we'll have a night race here coming up in just one or two minutes, but I just wanted to talk about the set of Corsa Competizione here first. We only have one car and one track, uh, but it just feels great. The graphics, the force feedback, even though the force feedback can be weird at times, I still love it. It feels absolutely great. Uh, the crispness of the handling of the cars feels a lot like eye racing, but better. Uh, just love this game. <laughs> I've been playing it here for maybe two hours so far, and I'm going to play it a couple of more hours um, for a first impressions video that I'll try to release tomorrow. This video though is a night race around, yes, you guessed it, Nurburgring in the Lamborghini uh, Hurricane GT3, but the lightning effects at night here in Assetto Corsa Competizione looks absolutely incredible. The thing is, a lot of racing games don't capture that, you know, that night feel. This game does. Holy shit, it actually feels like it's night outside. Uh, I know Project Cards has great lighting and great stuff, but it doesn't really feel like it's night outside. I don't know to how to put it, but the lightning is 10 out of 10. The game looks gorgeous. It actually feels like you're in a GT3 car. Uh, but yeah, enough talk. Let's get to the racing here. So here we go, guys. Actually, the race isn't that long. It's only five minutes. Uh, we have our spotter. Unfortunately, he crew chief obviously does not work with this. Uh, so you don't know when you're too wide, three wide. You have these arrows that you see on screen now, though. Uh, so let's see if we can survive turn one here. Pretty good start, pretty good start. I don't know what they're doing now though. Ah! <laughs> Hard on the brakes. I went on the brakes early, but the AI's brakes are just better than mine. Just like Product Cars 2, actually. Uh, I don't know how to get the HUD on my center screen. I'm using triple screens, uh, so I see the HUD in my right and my left monitor, but uh, kind of annoying because it's really hard to see at the moment. Uh, that's why you're not seeing any uh, any uh, speedometer or timings or relatives or whatever. We're going for it. Hard on the brakes here. <laughs> there was some contact there, but... Where is he? He's behind us. Uh, went way too hard on the brakes there and the ABS engaged. And you can really feel uh, those ABS brakes coming through the wheel in the force feedback. Feels, feels really good. The entire sim feels really good. And looks Yellow really good as well. Can't wait until we get the uh, the full game and the multiplayer part. Got a better exit than this guy. I don't know when to break. I can't see anything. Too late to the brakes. I'm not used to not seeing anything. <laughs> uh, one thing that doesn't look as good as some other stuff is the uh, rear view mirror. Looks really bad, actually. No! How did I not hit him? <laughs> or spin out? Uh, The spotter doesn't sound too excited though. I 
I hate this part of Nurburgring. I always sucked at it. And I do in Assetto Corsa Competizione as well. So I did a couple of half laps around here. I think the record was a 156 something. Um, I did a, one, a mid 157. It was my fastest lap, I think. Around one second of the world record. Uh, but it feels... It feels so good. It's actually... The game is really hard. Uh, <laughs> as I'm demonstrating here. Uh, but it's actually really hard. Get one of the rear tires on the grass and it's done. You're spinning. For sure. Uh, horrible Schumacher S here. Uh, but the game is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. See some advertisement of the Fanatic Podium Series uh, at the side of the track there as well. Um, but yeah, I just... This game is going to be good. Holy shit, this is going to be good. Now I just want more content. I want multiplayer. I think the multiplayer part was November. If I'm remembering that correctly. The problem now is, I'm not gaining on the guy in front of me, instead the guy behind me is gaining on me. But yeah, the multiplayer in November, I think we had a, another car and another track in uh, October next month. Um, but yeah, this game has a bright future. Let's see if you can catch these guys. really reminds me of iRacing in a good way the sounds are the driving feel the crispness of the front end feels like iRacing the sounds sound like race room in my opinion and even better than race room the right, sounds man, are absolutely amazing uh, <laughs> i'm over hyping this game but this is good this is really good almost feels like they captured all the good parts from the different games like Friday Cars 2, iRacing and even the old Assetto Corsa and Race Room as well. Uh, that was a lot better than last lap. If you can get him into the chicane, I highly doubt it, but I'm gonna try. I can't see where to turn. Ah, not gonna risk it. No! <laughs> What's that? Come on, let's go. Where is he? He's right there. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Holy shit! Almost got passed at the uh, at the finish line. Uh, this game is just so much fun. If you haven't bought it yet, it's twenty five. Uh, it's twenty five euros on Steam in early access. It will be more expensive later on, so buy it now. Yeah, that was a pretty fun race. I've done. I don't know 10 of these races and the AI actually feels really good as well uh, there's really not much to complain about other than that there's only one car and one track even though you can change the uh, weather you can even drive in, in the rain actually but yeah love this game thank you for watching guys stay tuned for my first impressions video that's coming out tomorrow even though I probably gave you some kind of indications on what i'm leaning towards tomorrow but yeah again guys thank you for watching i'll see you tomorrow bye